Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This one's another requested video. <clears throat> um, a gentleman asked me to do a talk on spotty mackerel and well, everything about spotty mackerel. But I'm not going to do that. That's that's huge. And I've already done quite a few videos on spotty spotty mackerel and lures I've used, um, rigs and ha all sorts in the past. What I'll do is I'll link them below so you'll see the links to those videos below. They're older videos. But they've got very good tips on them and lures and everything, all sorts. This one, on the other hand, I was just going to do um, something very unusual. Something I know a lot of people don't do. And you probably should catch a few more spotties. Okay, so this one's going to be a short one, guys. Um, but it's going to be just about one unusual trick that a lot of people don't do. And I want you guys to go out and give it a crack and see how it goes, right? First of all, it's that time of year again in South East Queensland. Everyone's looking for spotties. They're out and about. Okay, Palm Beach, uh, Mermaid Reefs off the Gold Coast, one mile off the Gold Coast, um, 18s all over the place. Uh, Morton Bay, okay. This one I'm about to show you will work on all those spots and all up the Queensland coast for, just for spotties. Just think of it this way, when you're out, when you're out amongst the crowd and you're sitting down amongst a hundred boats and you're looking around and you might see one guy hooked up and everyone's sitting there twiddling their thumbs and throwing burly over um, but not much happening but if you look in the water a lot of the times you look in the water you can see these little tiny bait fish okay the little tiny bait fish and that's usually what the spotties are feeding on and here's everyone throwing out whole pilchards or half pilchards and don't get me wrong they do work pilchards do work at times sometimes spotties just want to eat and they'll eat everything and when they're in that mood, doesn't matter what you're throwing them, they'll eat like lures and big pilchards, all sorts of live baits. They love live baits. But a lot of the time they're very shy because they're sitting, you're, they're, they're doing the laps around the reefs and there's 100, 150 boats sitting on them all with their sound is blaring and throwing burly out and banging and crashing and doing Christ knows what. Okay, so what I want you to try is something very different. You all heard the saying, match the hatch. So that's what I want you to do, is match the hatch. So basically, a lot of those little baits in the water, you'll see are like little froggies, little frogmouth pilchards. No one ever buys them and uses them for mackerel. I don't know why. You should. Mackerel like them. They work well. <laughs> um, saying that, don't stop taking pilchards out. Take your pillies out. Keep doing your half-floating pilly rigs and stuff too. Um, I won't hurt. And your little slugs. I remember just casting tiny slugs because you've got to match the hatch. Not big, heavy slugs. Tiny slugs. Um, but I want you to do something different. I want you to take out some froggies with you, some frogmouth pilchards, okay? And just good old wire. You need a short bit of wire. This is 25 pound or 27 pound or whatever it is, multi-strand. Okay, so it's a very soft, it's seven strands. It's very soft, so it's knotable. And then I want you to get yourself some little hooks. You can either use yourself little gang hooks like so. Hopefully you can see them. Or something like that. I haven't tried the gang hooks personally, I think they might be a touch small for spotties, but you never know, they might work, they might be right. What I use, I've just got a, like a little like suicide sort of hook, a 1A. These are the ones I like to use. Okay, something like that. Nice, just a nice small, say, octopus hook. 1O, it'd be fine. Even smaller than 1A, if you can get a smaller one. But don't go too small. You know, spotties have still got big mouths. And then what I want you to do is make the old fashioned rig. Okay, so I want you to put the hook on a short bit of wire. So I've got my hook on there. I've got the short 20, 25, 27 pound wire. And I've tied it onto my fluorocarbon leader. That's a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And this outfit here I've got, it's only eight pounds. That's the thing with this, I want, to, want you to fish light. Okay guys, so fish light. Don't have your big heavy rods. Fish light when the fish are really you know, flighty and spooky. Fish light gear, light leader. A nice light wire, 20, that's a multi strand and it's also plastic coated. And there's two ways you can do these. Do what I've done here, you can either snail the hook on and then tie an Albright here to your to your leader, just an Albright knot. Or you can put swivels on and you know, crimp them if you want to make them at home. But I like to do it this way so I can do them out in the boat on the fly. Because this, all you need is a spool of this, a packet of hooks, a sharp pair of scissors, you'll cut that wire with scissors and you just tie a couple of knots on the fly. It's quick, it's easy. There's no crimping, no crimping flies. Okay? So I just want you to make that little rig. And then with this small hook, when you're out on the ground, 
just put this through the head of the froggy, you know, up under the gills and out between the eyes, through the hardest part of the head, through the bone between the eyes and the other head, and keep the froggy whole. And then I want you to stand at the boat, back of the boat, and just float line. While your mates are burling or you're burling at one hand or whatever, you can have your pillies out there, have a live under a under a balloon, doing doing all that. That, that doesn't change. Keep all that, okay? But with your smaller outfit, I want you to put a froggy on a small light rig with a small hook and stand there and float down a little frog mouth pilchard. Okay? If the spotties are hard to catch or a bit flighty, this is a good way to find them, guys. It really is. Okay? Give it a crack. It won't always work, because sometimes, you know, they just won't eat. They're fish. They're not going to eat around the clock. Um, and sometimes there's so many boots there and so much noise going on, it just shies them away totally. But there's a few old boats around, a few boats around, you've seen the spotties, you know they're around, they're hard to catch. Try this, guys, it's frogmouth pilchards, put it on hole and a little like, yeah, that's a 1 0 hook or something like that, something small. A light trace to a fluorocarbon leader and use a light outfit. Like the outfit I've got here is a 2500 Azodius, okay, with a Vanford reel, that's got 8 pound braid, and you'll catch spotties on that easy all day long. Just keep in mind though, if you're fishing around a lot of boats, Spotties will give you a run for your money, especially big ones on that gear. So watch other people's anchor ropes <laughs> and save a few fights. But other than that, I hope that video, well, it helps. Hopefully it's something different. Uh, get out and give it a crack, guys. And like I said, the other spotty mackerel videos I've done before, I'll put links down below so you can go watch them. Like I said, they're older videos, the quality's not as good, but there's still plenty of good tips and tricks in there. Um, get you out of trouble, or hopefully get you out of trouble and catch you a nice feed of spotty mackerel. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. I'll be next up the videos are back on the old pocket little pocket rocket. I'm starting to sand and bog that thing up now, so we'll start building that up and hopefully by Christmas or just after Christmas we'll start doing some offshore fishing up here in the north. Should be fun. Anyway guys, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.